go back up to the... We're back up at the start for the Diamond Jubilee Challenge Cup. I think it's the last race of the day. My producer will tell me if it is. But we have the women from Multi Boat Club. It is their top junior crew. They row with black and white singlets and black blades. They're called the Black Death, if you want to know the colloquial term for Molsey in the rowing world. And the women from Maidenhead Rowing Club, they are on the right of your picture. And uh, Maidenhead Rowing Club, coached by Stephen Hughes. Molsey Boat Club, coached by their chief junior coach, Helen Taylor, now in her second stint at the club after having coached at Hampton School. And, uh, well, this is Molsey's top crew. What do you reckon to the way they're sculling there, Kim? Right now, they look very in control. They're sitting up tall you know, really extending, getting nice length and pushing through. Uh, they want to make sure that they get those oars in um, and not, you know, sky up a little bit. Yeah, um, I, I see but, what you mean. I was talking to Helen Taylor and she said they're not the prettiest crew on, yeah. on the water. And you, that's probably what you mean by that. You'd like those blades to be a bit closer. I'd say that Maidenhead was sculling a little better than Molsey, but, <laughs> but Molsey have got the beans. There's Maya Bentley. And uh, this crew finished third at National Schools Regatta. And she's also been at the under-19 coupe, which is kind of the sort of stage before you get to race at the juniors. Maidenhead are still in there. Molsey have got that lead off the start. I think we've got a race in our hands here. I really do. I, as we were talking about how they're rowing, I, th these young ladies are getting their oars right in the water, staying collected. And it's reminding me a little bit of that pairs race where you had that raw power of the UW crew getting out uh, and then that Dutch crew sort of moving through. I but think the thing about, you know, we were talking about the thing about sisters in the same boat. Well, this boat has twins in stroke and bow. We've got uh, Arva and Rose Losel Daly, both in year 12 at Holypool College. There we see the bow and stroke, so they're twins. And funnily enough, do you know what they do on Saturday mornings? No, I do not. They both teach French lessons. Oh, au yeah. contraire, bonjour. Yeah, and I, I saw one did, I, and then I looked on the other's bio, and she teaches French. And I just thought twins do everything together, and they are synced in doing everything together now. And you can see the look, can't you, from Arva Lota Daly. Just looking round. You're doing all right there, Arva. I know you're up against it from the multi crew, but you're hanging in there. Yeah, a little bit of a uh, little bit of direction from the umpire, uh, having them to correct their course so that they don't impede the way of the Maidenhead crew. And you can see that look over from the bow seat there, Abba Daly, uh, to say, you know, I wonder if she's going to make a call now. We're still in this, girls. We can still do it. Yeah, they are coming up against Molsey, and the power of Molsey has carried them to, well, a three-quarter length advantage halfway down the course. But the water's flattening out now. The course is, you know, getting shorter. You can see Molsey, it's hurting on them, isn't it? Yeah, you know, you can yeah, looking down there uh, in the beginning of the race, you had the, uh, the, the stroke, uh, Maya Bentley, she was head up looking right in front of her. She seems to have her head up again. She's nice and calm. She's still nice and calm, but you can see a little bit more uh, tension uh, in the boat right now. Yeah, so as I think of Maidenhead Rowing Club, you think of the Klesnevs and, uh, you know, I think it's Valentina Klesneva who's sadly departed from us now, but uh, Victor Klesnev, uh, her son, GB International and, and a great star here at, at Henley, Rowing and Leander Club, has done a little bit of coaching this crew along with Stephen Hughes, uh, Nick Neve Candle and Yona Parcel Aregi are the two other women in the Maidenhead crew. But Molsey still maintain that lead. Yeah, this comes down. You can, you know, I love how Abba keeps looking over, you know, and when you do that, you can tell your team, we're still in this, we can still make a move. There's still a way from the, for them to move through. Yeah, well, we saw what happened to the Tideway Scholars quad in the Foley, and, 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 you know, God forbid that won't happen to any of the crews in here. But to my mind, the, the main head quad are sculling really well, really beautifully, but I don't think they have a change of pace again. Uh, from what they're doing, I just mm. can't see them coming out of that place. Yeah, you would have seen a change of gear, a move, yeah. to, to indicate that they have a little something. But the question is, is that Molsey crew getting tired? 
is, the, is it going to be the case that they start to feel light and efficient? Like right now, they're starting to move through. They're starting to give it a little bit more. They're hearing the cheer of the crowd. Yeah, and I think that that's going to help push them through. They are listening to you. And maybe Mosey are tying up. The only thing that will happen in this is Mosey will tie up. By that, I mean their muscles, they've been working so hard. They're a little bit in the shoulders. They'll probably not be so much in their legs, the strong muscles. And maybe they will just tie up, which will allow Maidenhead through. Yeah, and then you can see Mosey's starting to respond there. They decided to take the rating up. I don't think they're going to tie up too much. Uh, they're definitely responding to this move. But you can see Ava, she just keeps looking over. And I can only imagine her saying, we've got this. We're in it. We can do it. She's looked over again there. So you know this part of the course, if you've been watching, there's the general enclosure. Not so many there now, but we know thousands of you are watching online. And maybe some of you in Maidenhead cheering for those women. If you're watching in Mosey, there's Maya Bentley, the stroke. She's so tough, so hard, she's gritting her teeth. You can see them there. This is everything. Mosey are laying on the line, everything. And will it be enough to stay ahead of Maidenhead? You can see Maidenhead on the left of your picture. And they've taken it up. It looks like Mosey is responding, that toughness that you were talking about from Maya Bentley. It looks like she's just willing that boat forward. This is a crazy, crazy race, and Maidenhead still have the overlap. The upset is still on, but they need to do something special. Now, that rhythm is not going to carry them through, Mosey. Yeah. Mosey have answered, so what do they need to do, Akil? It's like you sp spoke about. They need to find that fifth gear right now. If they only have four gears, they need to create another gear where they just give the boat a little bit more power and are able to move it a little bit better, because right now that power from that Mosley crew is holding them off. And if they can continue to do that, they're going to run out of one runway. So Coach Helen Taylor's heart will have been in her mouth, the Mosey coach. This is their top junior crew. The boys' quad went out on the first day in the Fawley to a very strong crew. Thought they might go through the regatta. These women, look, oh, that was a shout, wasn't it? Yeah, that was. She's, she's willing, as I said, Maya Bentley is willing this boat down the course right now. She is making sure that they've come through. And the question is, can Maidenhead find another gear? They'll need to find another gear. I guess there's about 25, 30 strokes left. I'm looking at them out of my commentary position, and I can see Molsey out in front. That powerful rhythm, that strong rhythm has never let up. The sculling style of Maidenhead is still there, and they've still got an overlap. What a great race we've been served up for this contest, Akin. Yeah, I love it. And here we come into this last little bit. Maidenhead is still trying. It looks like they found a little way to find a little bit more power, a little bit more pressure, but I don't think it's going to be enough because that Mosey crew is really powering that boat through the water. Mosey Boat Club from Surrey come up. They have taken everything that Maidenhead had to throw at them, and that powerful style has seen them through. They crossed the finish line. Just, well, it's under three quarters of a length in front of the Maidenhead crew, and you can see how exhausted Mosey are. They're absolutely shattered. The winners will go on to race Tideway Scullers. It has been an amazing day's racing. You know, what I really loved about that Maidenhead crew is they rode really well, and it was really gutsy. That Mosey crew, just the raw power, they just didn't let up.